Today we're going to play how many ways can you draw a line through a triangle. Uh, that's what this objective in math is all about, different ways of drawing lines through triangles. If you have to pass a test on this stuff, you're definitely going to want to take some notes because it's a lot of terminology. You probably have seen an altitude of a triangle before. When we calculate the area of a triangle, we take the base, multiply it by 1 half, and then multiply it by the height. That's another name for the altitude. You can recognize, let me grab a pencil here, you can recognize the altitude because it starts from a vertex and then it joins the other side at a 90 degree angle. So that's an altitude. Another way to draw a line through a triangle is called an angle bisector. And to bisect means to cut something into two equal parts. This line cuts this angle here at A into two equal parts. These dots here mean there's the same number of degrees on this side of the angle as there are on this side. Um, and then it just joins the other side of the triangle wherever. It doesn't have to be perpendicular or anything special. It just has to cut the angle exactly in half. So that's angle bisector. A median is a line that starts at a vertex, doesn't necessarily cut the angle in any particular way. It just starts at a vertex, and then it joins the other side in such a way that it cuts that side in half. So it's not perpendicular down here, but these two sides are the same length. So that's a median. And then this line here is called a mid-segment. You uh, join one side of the triangle with the other parallel to the third side at the point where it cuts these other two sides exactly in half. So this uh, this section, this section of that side are, are equal, this section and this section of that side are equal, and this line is parallel to this line. That's a mid-segment. And finally, we have what's called a perpendicular bisector. All this line has to do is cut one of the sides in half and cross that same side at a 90 degree angle. Where it ends up then is usually not at the vertex, although it could be, uh, usually just shoots through some other side. Uh, that's a perpendicular bisector. All right, a lot of terminology there. Let's do a few problems to try to get a little more familiar with these. Uh, this first one says, identify the segment interior to the triangle with respect to the whole figure. Uh, that's a pretty fancy way of saying what kind of line is this. What I'm noticing is that it's perpendicular to one side, and then these two hash marks means it's cut this in half, so it bisects a side. That is a perpendicular bisector, just what we were talking about. Uh, it's a little different in this diagram than this diagram because they don't continue the line here, but that is the same thing, a perpendicular bisector. Let's look at a couple more. All right, in this figure, we've got all kinds of lines going on. And it says name and altitude. Now remember, an altitude starts from a vertex and then joins the other side at a 90 degree angle. The only 90 degree symbol I see is right here. Let me grab the pencil again. So the only 90 degree symbol I see is right here. And it does join the vertex at the top. So this right here is our altitude. But let's take a look at and see what these other lines are. Um, I notice here we have this little uh, angle symbol with these two hash marks. That means it's cutting that angle exactly in half. So this line is an angle bisector. And this line here starts at a, a vertex and goes down and cuts the other side of the triangle, the opposite side, in two. That is called a median. And let's look back at our notes. Yep. There it is, a median, starts at a vertex, cuts the other uh, two sides, the other side in half. All right, let's look at this one. This one says name a median. Aha, uh -huh. well, we just talked about that. It's the one that starts at a vertex and cuts the opposite side in half. That's going to be this line right here. Here, we have the angle bisector. Here, we have the altitude again. All right, let's do one more. It says find the length of DB. So we want to find this length right here. Given that DB is an altitude of ADC, the area of triangle ADC is 17 square units, and AC is 7. So here, we actually have to use the formula for the area of a triangle. And the area of a triangle is area, area equals 1 half the base times the height. The height is our altitude. 
That's actually what we're trying to find. But they've given us the area and the base. They told us AC, that's the base down here, is 7. So we can put in 7 there. So 1 half times 7 times height, which is our altitude. And they told us the area is 17. So we can do that. Now, uh, let's see. I want to um, get rid of this 1 half, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 first. So 2 times 17 is 34 equals 7 times the height. We want to solve for height. That's our altitude. Uh, height is multiplied by 7, so I'm going to divide by 7. So our altitude here, our height, is 34 sevenths. So that's a little bit of work with lines drawn through triangles, altitudes, angle bisectors, medians, mid segments, and perpendicular bisectors.